Welcome to another video of Click New Training by Bharti DW Consultancy. This is this video is regarding the QBDs, Click New Documents, Data Files. In this video, we are going to see how to read a product dimension table from a database and then create and store it in a QBD file. Next, we will read the same QBD file in another clicky document. So we will see how to use or reuse the QBD documents. So QBD is a native click view format of storing data and you can connect to the data source, read the data from the data source and store it in the table in a QBD format. The advantages of QBD are that you don't have to be connected to the database for reading the data. The data still resides in a file which is a QBD or click view format data file. Reading the file from QBD is many times faster than reading it from a database or a data source connection. You can consolidate data from multiple databases and create a very good robust data model and QVD also supports incremental load uh, we will see that incremental load in videos to come but for now we will see the basic concept of QVD apart from this we will also see how to use a binary command it's very simple and I thought to include this into this into the QVD uh, video so let's do it. So I open, I create a new QBD document, click on cancel and I click on edit script. So first of all, I'm going to connect to a database, sales DB. If you remember in my video 2, I have created the data source connection and this is connected. Once the data source is connected, I have written this statement. Let's understand the statement. There will be a temp table product which is loaded as these five columns. And these five columns would be a select from product dimension table from this database. So in other words, I am reading product dimension table. I'm doing a select on columns and loading it into a temperate table product. Now this temporary table I can create a QVD. The syntax to create a QVD is store this product into a location of a file with extension QVD. Let me copy this script and put it in this document. So I have connected to the database, loaded a temp table, and then that table is pushed into a QBD file. Now let me reload, save this and I would say it's a QBD document. Reload and you can see the the file is loaded. So this is from a, creating a QBD. Now let's read a QBD. It's very simple. Create a new document, click on cancel, go to the edit script and there is table files. Click on table files and navigate to the product dim QVD which you created in the, in the previous document. You can see it automatically understands the extension QVD 
and it gives you the columns which which are available in this table click on next click on next and here you would see the same data so this is the load statement let's read that so it's gonna load these columns from a QVD and the syntax is a bracket round bracket QVD just to denote that it's a QVD file and say finish once done save it and save it as BDCS read QVD and save it once saved you reload it and you will see that the document so this time the data is loaded from the QVD and not from the database it's very simple as I told you that the QVDs are very helpful very fast in reading and helpful in creating a robust data model if you want to consolidate data from across various different data sources coming to the binary load and it's it's different from QVD uh, let me close all the files here uh, so I create a new document and what I want to do is I want to reuse the the QVW file which I created in my second video create star schema and this is the QVW file I want to reuse it so I would say go to the script type binary and give the location of the QVW file once done put a semicolon and save save it as bdcs read qbw and reload this file uh, let's find out the issue so say that you have you have not understood the issue so what we have to do is we can do a debug and say step so we found that so what we found is that the binary statements have to come before the set and save it click on reload and you can see you have reloaded the entire contents of the my second report see here binary so binary statements are useful when you want to refer another click the document qbw file and load the data so that's it uh, thank you for watching and uh, wait for our next video thank you